Christmas was Charles Dickens' busy season. Now, in places like this New York City church, it's the busy season for his great-great-grandson. Stage one, Molly's in 1993, the actor Gerald Charles Dickens was drafted to do a dramatic reading of great-great-grandpa's slender classic, A Christmas Carol. The cellar door flew open with a booming sound. Sixteen years later, he's still at it. I've completely changed this, this Victorian piece of work and, and made it relevant in the 20th century, as it was then. And, and, and then, after I did that, and after it was successful, I, I, I thought I would then go back and do a little bit of research and see what Dickens had done himself. Mm -hmm and discovered it. He'd done exactly that. It, it, it was completely dramatic. He'd given them all voices, all expressions, all so, so I hadn't done anything, actually. <laughs> Recreation or original, he's still not tired of it. I, I think I love the way it, 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 it creates so many different emotions in such a short space of time. One minute you're laughing, the next minute you're terrified, the next minute you're, you're crying. Who goes about with many Christmas on his lips. It's a good thing the performance is popular because doing his own show has sort of spoiled Dickens for working with other actors. I actually did um, a, a, a play a couple of years ago um, with the cast and I could see all the other actors staring at me in horror throughout it because they didn't have the faintest idea what I was going to do next. Fortunately, Dickens left his great-great-grandson with a lot of material. He's also done shows from Nicholas Nickleby and Oliver Twist, among others. Warren Levinson, The Associated Press, New York.